Hey guys, this is ARO signing in from two floors above the basement. Um, so I'm going to be showing you my Battlecraft map, like I mentioned in the Village Hut video. And um, I'll give you an inside look of what I have so far. Everything that I've designed, I've designed as of tonight, which is the 30th of August. So if you're watching this um, after tonight, well... You'll just know that tonight means 30th of August, not whatever night you're watching this on. Or whatever day, for that matter. But, um, I'll be giving you a tour around. And when, um, we do Battlecraft, um, all, I, all my subscribers who have Minecraft on to a server. And I will explain all the rules for the game. Uh, the map will be completely set up, and, uh, we can get started, but, alas, I do not have it anywhere near finished, it's just the plans, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, show you what I've got. So, I'm gonna walk over to this bedrock building. Most of the stuff I have so far is made out of bedrock. Basically, the goal for most buildings and fortifications is to make it so that it's as indestructible as possible. To keep the player safe. So basically I'm just going to walk over to this bunker. La 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 la. Sing a happy song while carrying a big honking iron door. La 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 la. These words don't make any sense. Okay. Here's the bunker. I'm just going to take down this iron door. Because I don't have a secret way of opening it. So. There we go. Basically the thing is. Is that there's supposed to be a guard standing inside the door frame and the door goes like there and see this button the guards just going to stand here to make sure no enemy are here and if by any chance an enemy does appear there he can make sure that they don't get in um you cannot uh bust down the doors well this will be run one of the rules if I can't make it, so that's impossible to not bust down doors. Um, but if there's a friend coming, instead of busting down the door or whatever, all the guard has to do is push that button to let the friend in. Um, it is a little risky in terms of followers. People who are just stalking the player can uh, get in right behind them. But that's what you have the guard for, just to keep watch and know if there's a player there or not. So I'm going to continue down into the bunker. Uh, made of obsidian and bedrock, again, to, uh, keep people out. So, in the inside, you're less concerned about indestructibility, because if all the fortifications on the outside allow it to be indestructible, then you know that your inside is safe. So, this is the inside. You can see you've got some diamonds and emerald patterns on the wall. I think it was pretty cool to do that. Uh, most of the floor is obsidian. Um, just got some decorations. I thought that was a cool touch. Uh, lots of torches to light up a big area. Uh, you can see quite a few beds around to, uh, support, uh, a few people on each team in the bunker. So, uh, more bunkers will be able to be accessed in the maps but this is the first one I have so here's like a workshop room an anvil enchanting table a chest filled with equip whoops crap alright no one just saw that there was a chest there and I just lost everything inside that but there was some armor and weapons and everything in there crafting table furnace hopefully I don't destroy any more of this um I will replace that chest later I don't feel like doing that now, and I really want to stop hitting that menu button. Um, all right, so I'm gonna come out to the f to another part, and in here is like the uh, kitchen slash meeting room. So why do I keep doing that? Okay, so here's your dropper. Oh, come on! Alright, I just destroyed the dropper, as well as that chest. So, that's why you have this ch Ugh. 
Okay. Remind me not to do any more tours if I'm going to keep destroying stuff. Okay. Well, it was the food supply area. I have now have to replace, replace that. But don't worry. I will do that before any of you get to do this. Um, also, if you just clear that block, you can see there's a chest here. And um, here's where you can place all your stuff. So, um, all the weapons were in that one chest I destroyed. All this food came from the other chest in the dropper, or the dispenser that I destroyed, and I'm not too happy about that. But, can't comp really can't do anything about it. So, I'm just going to replace that with some bedrock. And, so that was the bunker, pretty much. Basically, the underground area. Uh, people can basically live down there uh, once I restore the food supply and weapon supply. Uh, I will make sure that's ready for other people. But uh, here's there's just an iron door. If you hit the button, you can go... Oh, come on. Keep hitting the menu button. If I could tell you, if I had a nickel for every time I screwed up this tour, I'd have about a dollar right now. Come out. A dollar and five cents. Okay. Luckily, I have a button to replace that. That is the fourth thing that I've destroyed, but who's counting? Hit the button. A dollar and ten cents. A dollar and fifteen cents, a dollar and twenty cents, and I can finally make it out this door without busting it down. So, dollar and twenty-five cents. I don't want to bust down that door because that that will be like the fifth thing I've broken. Okay, forget the button. I'm busting down the door. I don't care. Okay, so now you can see this railway tracks. Obviously, you know it's from minecart. So if you follow the tracks, you will eventually make it to this building over here. Um. It says carting center stops bunker A, which was just the bunker that you guys saw that I broke like five things in and uh, like had a bunch of major screw ups in. But if I hit, hit this button, that minecart right there should not have done that. So I'm just going to break it and put a redstone torch right there. Okay, come on. This is really not my day, guys. Uh, I'm normally I'm normally better than this, except I'm not really doing very well. Uh, I wasn't doing this bad when I was doing the tours for the Villager Clay Huts, but that should do it after I put a mine card on it. <sighs> Alright, I think I made about a dollar and fifty cents. What do you think guys? If you can count up all my screw ups and send me an email of how many nickels I would have for each screw up, I will be very thankful and I will make an exclusive video and share it to that user, but I don't know how I'll do that yet. I'll figure something out. I'm pretty good with that sort of stuff. But the minecart just took off and it's gonna follow some path. It's going to follow some path, and it's going to go all the way back to Bunker A, and where that iron door was, it's go it should open it right there, but since there's no iron door, and the person would just, like, destroy the chest, or open it, and assuming that they open it and don't destroy it, they can send it back just by hitting that button, that, oh my god, okay. By hitting the button that was there, that I'm now going to replace, by hitting that button, and by jumping on the cart, it goes back to the carting station. So I thought that was a pretty neat touch. And then over here I have the little stables. Uh, keep a horse here. And, uh, I just tamed it. Uh, just to let you know, like, a few minutes ago. So... That was basically just a last minute touch in the middle of nowhere. I'll probably move the horse closer to the bunker. 
But um, also, as you see over here, I've got this wall as fortifications. So now I'm going to drop down. And we're back to the railway station. As you can see, there's an opening where carts can go through. Um, I'm thinking of having it go through like... I don't know what I want to do because I'm trying to build a fortification wall around here. But I'm thinking maybe go through the wall and go to some other stops. I'm also thinking of adding shops so you can uh, trade and buy stuff from villagers. So uh, hopefully I can complete that as of tonight. Remember, August 30th. Um, I may not have a video for you. Basically, I'm doing you all a favor and showing you all this stuff and remember when you when we're doing this all of this stuff that i'm building i'm going to use so basically i'm telling you this is what i'm going to use now you know what i'm going to use and you have the advantage because um you not only do you know what i have you know what you have too so um, I will be building the whole map, so you will be, um, basically to start out, you guys will claim as much stuff as possible, but basically I'm just doing you all a favor for when we do do, when we, uh, get to this, you guys know how to navigate around this area, but, um, like I said, I'm going to be creating more moving, shifting, improving, and this concludes our presentation of Bunker A, our carting center, and our stable. Uh, we only have one horse. I hope to have more. So I'm hoping I can just end up to quickly gather stuff. And as I'm talking, I just remember that I can spawn creatures. So I might as well just do that. But, um... I will um, keep working tonight. So, guys, just hang tight, uh, lay loose, and keep tuning in for more periodical videos. And um, this concludes the actual conclusion. I don't really want to keep talking for another few minutes after this. But um, just remember this video because... The Minecraft stuff I'm showing you can really help. Um, so, this is ARO signing out, and I hope you guys tune in for our next videos. Please subscribe if you like this type of stuff we're doing. Please subscribe. Um, also, to you guys who uh, don't know how to do this sort of stuff in Minecraft, just email us at arojdst at gmail.com. And we can help you. So, please, just, if you ever need anything, just email us. And we will do the best we can to help you. Because you guys are the most important things to us as a YouTuber. And our goal is to um, have a great YouTubing career. Or whatever. So, I'm going to let you guys go. This is ARO signing out for the second time. I don't know why I didn't just leave the first time. But, I will see you guys in our next videos.